What's up guys? So today we've got the all new AR 10 360T receiver from Spectrum. This is a 10 channel AS3X and safe capable receiver. It also utilizes forward programming so we can program it the exact same way that we do the AR 637T, the 8360T, the AR630 and the AR631. So this is something that's been long awaited. It's a 10 channel version of those already very popular receivers. We're gonna go ahead and take this thing out of the box and take a look at some of the cool features that are now on the 10 360T that set it apart from its counterparts. So in the package, you're going to receive the AR10360 receiver. You're going to receive a voltage cable that you can run in line with your flight pack to get uh, voltage over telemetry. And you also get the AR10360 user guide. Now for a quick size comparison, we've got the AR10360 here on the right, uh, sitting next to one of the AR637T receivers here on the left. This is the six channel version of the new AS3X and safe capable receivers that also support forward programming. We'll talk about some of the similarities between the AR637T that is shared with the 8360T and the differences between those two models and the new 10360T. So the 637T, the 8360T that I don't have right here in front of me, and the 10360T all share some common functions. Uh, that being they all support forward programming, they all support AS3X, safe, panic button, they all three have a built-in barometer uh, for altitude as well as vario. Uh, they all have push button bind buttons so you just got a quick button that you press to put the receiver into bind mode and they also all three support the smart telemetry functionality through the new avian escs and when coupled with an avian esc it gives you a lot of information uh, regarding your spectrum smart battery as well as your ESC temperatures, motor RPMs, battery temperatures. Uh, there's just a lot of telemetry data that comes through without having to add any external sensors. Now, speaking of external sensors, I'm sure that you'll notice that the AR10360T has several things on it that do not appear on the 637T or the 8360, and we're gonna cover those now. All right, so some of the external features that you're gonna see on the 10360T that you're not gonna find on the 637, uh, now we have two uh, SRXL2 ports for satellite receivers. And where on the 637 and the 8360T, uh, they both have voltage and they have X bus, now added to the 10360T, you've also got an RPM telemetry port for an RPM sensor, as well as a temperature sensor. So that's gonna be really nice for those of you guys that are running uh, internal combustion engines, you know, so your, uh, your gas or your nitro engines, that's gonna be really nice. You don't have to have a separate XBUS expander module to be able to add those sensors when you're using the 10360T. That's something to keep in mind. It is recommended that you do not use the 10360T in a turbine aircraft. The turbines operate at some frequencies that will uh, not play well with the internal components of the AR10360T, uh, specifically like your AS3X and your safe functionality. So it's recommended that you do not use them. If you do want to use them, it's at your own risk. Now let's take a look at the pin configuration because as we would expect, this is a 10 channel receiver. So if you look at our diagram on the top, we've got our bind port, we've got our throttle port or channel one, we've got channel two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then along the top, we've got channels eight, channel nine, and channel 10. 
So one of the other things that we'll notice here, a big difference between the AR637T and the 10360, that first port is bind program and SRXL2. We no longer have program functionality on that first port. Why? Because as you may notice, we now have a micro USB. So the days of the USB programming cable are now gone. We can plug a micro USB cable directly into the top of the 10360T, plug this into any PC running the newest version of the Spectrum Programmer software, and that is going to allow us to save our settings uh, in the 10360T. It will allow us to load settings from uh, other receivers, as well as save them, share them with our friends, update the receivers and the other thing that's pretty cool about it is when we plug in the micro usb and run that into the spectrum programmer software any satellite receivers that we have plugged into our srxl2 ports are also going to receive their latest updates over the spectrum programmer software as well so that's a nice feature to see on the new 10360t having that micro usb port there uh, I know that a lot of folks, you know, when they get the Spectrum receivers and, you know, they hear that they need to update the firmware on the receiver and then they find out that they have to buy a separate cable to make that work and, you know, sometimes that cable is sold out. So this is a nice feature on the 10360T having that micro USB cable there. That's a super cool addition and something that I hope we see on all the future receivers that Spectrum makes. Now, something to keep in mind is this is not compatible with older uh, satellite receivers. It will not work with SRXL receivers and it won't work with like your older, uh, like DSM-2 style uh, receivers uh, or the satellites. You need to be specific in what you get. It supports SRXL2 satellites only, like the Spectrum uh, 4651T uh, DSMX. SRXL2 satellite receiver. Now, something else to consider when you're using the AR10360T, uh, it does have 10 PWM outputs, right? Those means that those are outputs that we can connect servos to. Now, in order to control all 10 of those servos, we're going to want a minimum of a 10 channel transmitter like a Spectrum NX10. If you have all of your PWM ports filled or occupied with servos, so you have 10 servos plugged in or an ESC and nine servos, whatever the case may be, uh, you can run AS3X stabilization, but you will not have the ability to do like a gain adjustment or a mode selector or anything like that because the 10360T, you're gonna be using all those channels and it takes all 10 of the channels in your radio to do that. So in order to take advantage of gain selectors, mode switches, the panic functionality, if you wanted to do separate gains uh, for each axis, you would need to step up to a higher channel count transmitter where you could have all 10 channels occupied and then you could use an 11th channel, 12th channel, 13, 14, 15, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. If we wanted to take advantage of all the different functionality of the AR10360T, including, you know, what we may get out of being able to connect it to an Avian ESC with thrust reversing, we could need potentially up to 16 channels to really take advantage of everything. So just something to keep in mind real quick. If you've got an AR10360T and you've got an NX10 transmitter, you're using all 10 of the outputs, you are gonna be limited in some of that functionality. And to take true advantage of everything, you may want to consider a higher channel count radio like the IX12, DX18, DX20, IX20. All of those will be able to take advantage of all the functions that we can perform 
inside the new AR-10360T. If you're interested in picking up one of the AR-10360Ts, be sure to check the links down in the description. Uh, we're going to have affiliate links to Horizon Hobby that pay a small commission back to me at no additional charge to you if you use those links, and we sure do appreciate your support. Now, the price on the AR-10360T is going to be $169.99. Now, they also have the AR-10100T, which is a new 10-channel telemetry-based receiver. It does not include the SAFE technology. It does not include AS3X. So if you're just looking for the receiver with the 10 channels and the telemetry functionality and the ability to interface with the smart ESCs, the Avian ESCs, then the 10100T uh, is probably a good bet for you. That one's going to be available at $119.99, and we're going to have links down in the description for that one as well. And when you get your hands on it and you're interested in programming the AR-10360T, be sure to check out my Spectrum AR-637T programming series. We're going to have a link to that right up here. The AR-637T, the AR-8360T, the 630, the 631, and the new 10360T all program exactly the same, and all of the programs that we save from those receivers can be moved from one receiver to the next. So say I set something up in, this, in the 10360T, I save that profile into my Spectrum Programmer software, I can transfer that from a 637 to a 10360T, no problem. Be sure to stay tuned to the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel. We're going to have a follow-on video to this one where we're going to show you how to perform the update procedure on the AR-10360T as well as how to update satellite receivers. So we're going to plug some satellite receivers into the SRXL2 ports. We'll be able to update those receivers through the micro USB cable using the latest Spectrum Programmer software. So stay tuned to the channel to be able to see how to do that. All right, as always guys, if there's any questions at all, be sure to leave those down in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you never miss new videos. I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video here on the all new Spectrum 10360T receiver. This is a super cool addition to the receiver lineup from Spectrum. I know we've been waiting for another large channel count receiver here for quite some time, and I think they've really delivered a nice product here with the 10360T. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.